Throughout Latin America, we find an impressive array of nations teeming with cultural diversity and a rich historical legacy. Among these, Cuba stands out as one of the most mysterious, primarily due to the general unfamiliarity with its unique characteristics. This island nation in the Caribbean is known for its idyllic landscapes, marked by a history of challenging moments. We invite you to explore Cuba, the land of stunning beaches and vibrant culture, including its women, globally recognized for their extraordinary beauty. They are considered the most daring, ready to embark on any adventure imaginable, and even beyond. Our journey begins here, Cuba, a Caribbean island that is a treasure trove of stories, culture, and natural beauty. With varied geography, Cuba is a prominent symbol as a destination. From its white sandy shores and crystal blue seas, to its cities of colonial architecture and majestic mountains, Cuba presents a range of landscapes and points of interest that captivate visitors from all over the world. Let's start with Cuban geography, an island nation located in the heart of the Caribbean Sea, south of Florida, and east of Mexican territory. As the largest island in the Caribbean, Cuba stretches about 1,200 kilometers from east to west, presenting a rich geographic diversity ranging from plains to imposing mountains. On the western end, we find the Guanahacabibes Peninsula, notable for its natural reserves and rich biodiversity. In the heart of the island, the Vinales region stands out, famous for its mogotes, rocky formations that emerge from the ground, creating a breathtaking landscape. Havana, the vibrant Cuban capital, stands as the cultural and political epicenter of the nation. Its historic center, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a mosaic of cobblestone streets and colonial buildings that enchant visitors. Among the most emblematic squares are Plaza de la Catedral and Plaza Vieja. Additionally, the Malecón, an extensive seaside promenade, offers a spectacular setting that captures the essence of Cuban life. This portrait of Cuba, spanning from its natural landscapes to the pulsating heart of its capital, reflects the complexity and richness of this Caribbean country. Each region, with its unique characteristics, contributes to the cultural and natural mosaic that defines Cuba, making it a destination of incomparable beauty and historical depth. The Malacan in Havana serves as a central meeting point for local residents, offering a place to gather and enjoy the stunning views of the sea. Trinidad, on the other hand, is a jewel of the 16th century colonial era located on the south coast of Cuba, known for its cobblestone streets and pastel-colored buildings, transporting visitors back in time. Near Trinidad, the Valley of the Sugar Mills reveals the legacy of sugar production on the island, while the Alejandro de Humboldt National Park in eastern Cuba is recognized by UNESCO for its exceptional biodiversity, housing unique species such as the Tocororo and the Chutia. Cuba's beaches, especially Varadero on the Hikakos Peninsula, are world famous for their fine sand and crystal clear waters, attracting tourists in search of a tropical paradise. Stretching across vast expanses of white sandy beaches and clear blue waters, perfect for nautical activities and moments of relaxation under the sun. Faith in Cuba is a vibrant and complex mosaic, reflecting the island's diverse history and culture. With a rich combination of elements from Africa, Europe, and the Caribbean, Cuban spirituality includes a variety of traditions and practices that have developed over the years. Santeria stands out as one of the most notable religious expressions in Cuba. It is a hybrid religion that blends aspects of African Yoruba faith with Catholicism. Also known as Regla de Ocha or Lukumi, Santeria emerged among enslaved Africans brought to Cuba during the colonial period. Adherents of Santeria venerate a set of deities known as Orishas, which symbolize various aspects of the natural world and human existence. Each Orisha has unique characteristics, and is revered through rites and celebrations involving chants, dances, and the offering of symbolic offerings. Spiritualism, with its roots in Europe, also exerted a notable impact on the religious sphere of Cuba, amalgamating with African and Caribbean traditions present in the region. This aspect of Cuban spiritualism is characterized by interaction with ancestral spirits and the pursuit of spiritual guidance through mediumistic practices and spiritual healing. Catholicism similarly holds a prominent position in Cuban religious practice, with its local manifestations shaped by the influence of African and Caribbean traditions. A syncretic version of Catholicism, 
which integrates elements of Santeria and spiritualism into its rituals and festivities, is common among Cubans. Cuba is a nation distinguished by its rich tapestry of religious and spiritual traditions, extending beyond the more well-known practices such as Santeria to include a wide range of other faith manifestations, such as Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, and Protestantism. This religious mosaic reflects the convergence of diverse cultures and traditions throughout Cuban history, creating an environment where religious diversity is a hallmark of national identity. Cuba's history has been marked by periods when religious practice faced restrictions, especially after the 1959 revolution, when the state adopted official atheism and limited religious freedom. However, since the 1990s, there has been a relaxation of these restrictions, allowing for a revival of religious practices and greater tolerance from the government. This period of openness has provided space for religion in Cuba to flourish once again, reflecting the cultural and spiritual dynamics of the nation. Cuba is known for its resilient and dedicated women who prioritize family above all else and do not hesitate to defend their loved ones with courage. They stand out for their ability to face challenges with optimism and find creative solutions to problems. Cuban women are also valued for their humility, fighting spirit, and ability to cultivate friendships, making them ideal companions for those seeking security and unconditional support in love. Their unique characteristics, including diverse facial features and an excellent sense of humor, make them unforgettable figures both in everyday life and in love. Cuban women have a striking and fascinating personality. It is worth noting that initially, some disagreements may arise due to cultural differences related to expectations of how relationships should be conducted. Being in a relationship with a Cuban woman is a vibrant, lively experience. With them, monotony has no place. These women are full of life and vigor. They love spending time outdoors, interacting for long periods with neighbors, indulging in dance, enjoying moments with family and friends, and simply savoring every aspect of life. These women have the gift of spreading joy to everyone around them and maintaining a light and positive atmosphere. They prove to be excellent companions, dedicated mothers, and affectionate partners, always with a warm smile. For these reasons, it's not surprising that Cuban men show a preference for having a Cuban woman by their side. They have a deep sense of family value. They prefer to invest quality time with their loved ones and often start their own families early. The first children in Cuban homes often arrive in the early years of marriage, indicating that the Cuban woman is seen as the ideal choice for those looking to build a large and harmonious family soon. It is often claimed that children of interracial couples are particularly beautiful, and in Cuba, such unions are as common as conventional families are in the Middle East. Cuban women stand out for their femininity and beauty, ranging from their voluptuous and curvaceous figures to the softness of their features. Being in a relationship with a Cuban woman is like being with a supermodel. The population of Cuba deeply values concepts of grooming and aesthetics, which is why there are numerous beauty salons serving both men and women. They have a penchant for adornments and vibrant, glittering attire, which not only makes them stand out, but also enhances their innate beauty. As for heredity, Cuban women are the result of a rich mixture of ancestors. Most have a genetic heritage reflecting both European and African roots. One might presume that a Cuban woman with blonde hair and light eyes has a strong European genetic influence. However, often these same women also have a predominance of African genes. Based on skin color, these women are often classified as black, mulatto, or white. Before we continue, let me remind you that if you're enjoying the content and gaining knowledge about Cuba, subscribe to our channel to access more materials like this and discover even more interesting information about various countries around the world. Remember to give us a like and share with us which other nation you're interested in exploring. Now let's move forward. It is essential to remember that the government of Cuba, throughout history, has faced challenges in its relationship with faith. For several decades after the Cuban Revolution in 1959, a state policy of atheism was established, limiting religious expression. However, in recent years, these limitations have been eased, and freedom of belief has experienced a significant increase. Cuba is defined as a socialist republic with a single-party system, led by the Communist Party of Cuba CPC. Cuba's political regime is based on the Constitution of 1976, which has been amended at various times. 
The Constitution of Cuba outlines the governmental structure, ensures the rights and obligations of citizens, and establishes the principles of the state. The country is characterized by a centralized political system, with the Communist Party of Cuba CPC, being the only legal party, playing a central role in the politics and administration of the country. Elections are conducted through an indirect system, starting with the election of delegates at municipal and provincial levels, who in turn choose members of the National Assembly of People's Power. The government heavily controls the economy and the media, maintaining a system of central planning since the revolution of 1959. Despite this, economic reforms have been implemented to open the economy to the market and foreign investment, while maintaining a predominantly state-owned economic system. Cuban cuisine is a mosaic of African, Spanish, and Caribbean influences, resulting in a vibrant and distinctive flavor palette. This cuisine stands out for its simplicity, inventive use of local ingredients, and focus on comforting dishes rich in flavor, which reflect the country's history and culture. A striking feature of Cuban cuisine is its appreciation of simple and readily available ingredients. It is based on regional elements such as rice, beans, plantains, cassava, pork, chicken, and fish. These components are combined in various ways, resulting in a range of dishes, from traditional to innovative. One of Cuba's culinary icons is rice and beans, also referred to as moros y cristianos. This delicacy consists of a tasty mixture of white rice and black beans, cooked with garlic, onion, and spices. It is an essential element in Cuban cuisine and accompanies various main dishes, Roast pork is also a preferred option in Cuban gastronomy. Cuban music emerges from the confluence of African and Spanish rhythms, later enriched by English, North American and French influences. This cultural melting pot has given rise to a diversity of musical genres that highlight Cuba on the world stage. Among the most emblematic styles are the sun, known for its fusion of Bantu and Spanish elements since the 16th century, and the rumba, with its evident African roots. Other genres such as guaguanco, conga, and habanera are also vital, reflecting the rich musical tapestry of the island. Musical personalities and groups like Buena Vista Social Club and Benny Moore, along with infectious rhythms like the cha-cha-cha and the mambo, are representative of Cuban musical identity. Celebrations and rituals are essential elements of Cuba's traditions. Vibrant carnivals and street marches take place across the nation, filling the atmosphere with rhythms, dances, and joy. Celebrations in honor of the protective saints of various localities are marked by processions, live music, and fireworks. On the island, cultural practices encompass events such as the Festival of the Caribbean in Santiago de Cuba, which celebrates the cultural richness of the Caribbean through music, choreography, arts, and gastronomy. Cuba stands out for its deep history, vibrant culture, and striking natural beauty. From the cobblestone streets of Habana Vieja to the sands of Varadero, the country offers a range of unique experiences. The warmth of the Cubans, the captivating rhythms, and the magnificent scenery make Cuba a memorable destination for travelers seeking genuine experiences and Caribbean adventures. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll love the others we have here. Take a look at our playlist for more amazing content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.